you guys, this is my part two of my two part <laughs> Q&A. My first one was a more personal questions video and this one's gonna be more fitness just in case people are like more interested in one but not the other. I guess we'll just get right into it. So the first question is, what is the best cardio for fat loss and how often do you train glutes? So really any form of cardio that really gets your heart pumping and you enjoy is gonna be best for you in fat loss because you're not gonna keep up a cardio regimen that you don't like. But personally, I like to do, tra uh, what was I even gonna say? Personally, I like to do sprints on the treadmill because time goes by really quickly when you're doing HIIT. Or I like to take a spin class which burns up to like 800 calories in 45 minutes for me sometimes. So that's what I like to personally do, but for everybody it's different. And I train glutes twice a week. One day I have legs and glutes, and then the other day I have calves, plyos, and glutes. So I, I also have good genetics in the way of a butt. Thanks, Dad. And I also, you know, grew up doing little mini squats on a horse when I was English writing and I was doing gymnastics and soccer and all these different things. So my butt really grew from the time that I was like four years old or before I was born, so. Next one is, what inspired you to start working out? My high school experience was torturous at times. So at this one point in high school when I was extremely lonely, I just needed like an outlet. I needed something to get my mind off of the stuff that was going on. And I went to the gym that was really close to my house. It was a Gold's Gym. And I, I got really healthy and I really, really liked the endorphins that it released. And it, I don't know, I just got addicted to it. So that's how I started working out. And then it kind of ties along with this, how long have you been lifting? So I've been lifting for about three years since I was 17. Um, but when I was 17, I kind of did more cardio than lifting and I just kind of did like more light weights and stuff like that, which is fine. I lost a lot of weight and I looked really good. But more recently, um, in like the, more like the past year, year and a half, I've lifted really, really heavy and done minimal cardio. So about tres years, just different forms. <laughs> what are examples of foods that you eat on a low or a high carb day? So on a low carb day, I'll wake up and have like a little bit of oatmeal, some egg whites, and then throughout the day, it's mainly just uh, you know, lean meats, egg whites, veggies, and some source of fat, and very, very minimal carb. And then on high carb days, I wake up and I have a whole cup of oatmeal with some sugar-free syrup and egg whites, because that's my breakfast every day. And then throughout the day, I'll have more oats and more brown rice and more sweet potato, and then very minimal fat and lots of lean protein. So that's a smart example. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm really weird. There's a lot of light behind you guys. So maybe it's making me a little bit loopy because it's like shining into the back of my eyeballs. <laughs> on to the next one. Do you plan on keeping this channel after your show? Yes, I do. I want to be in the fitness industry. I want to be a fitness model. Um, I want to be an online coach, I'm almost there. There's a lot that I wanna do in the fitness industry rather than just compete in one show or compete in 10 shows. I want to, I have a lot that I really wanna do in the fitness industry. So I think that YouTube is a great way for me to connect with other people in the community. So yes, I will absolutely be making videos after the show and hopefully they will only get better. So that's my answer to that one. And the last question will be, what supplements do you take? So I am gonna make a in-depth video about this. I actually filmed an entire like 18 minute video about why, when, and what I take. And then my camera died and deleted the video. So I'll make that another day. But just to give you a brief um, idea of what supplements I take, I take a multivitamin, a few other vitamins, like fish oil, stuff like that. And then I also take BCAAs, pre-workout, sometimes glutamine, sometimes protein, it just depends. That will conclude this fitness Q&A. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end of the video, even though it's not that long. Um, I, I have like ADD, like I have the attention span of a goldfish. I actually think goldfish have better attention spans than human beings nowadays, which is really sad. But you get what I'm saying. I click from video to video to video. So if you made it this long, thank you so much. I will 
be back in a few days with another video. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.